Hello, this is Grey Dog FM. Dave Dog here. Today's game, which sees us uh, visit Watford in a game which should see us secure our safety in the Premier League. Uh, Leeds in 12th position, Watford 16th. They are seven points uh, away from Brentford, so in this save, they are looking safe too. And uh, let's look at today's teams then. Before we get on to today's uh, team uh, to face Watford, let's have a look at uh, how things have been going over the fixtures played this weekend. Played on Friday night in this save, Southampton nil, Chelsea 1. And today's games, Everton 1, Man United 1, Arsenal 2, Brighton 0, Villa 1, Tottenham 1, Newcastle 0, Wolves 1. And in the big game that's coming up in real life this weekend, Manchester City 2, Liverpool 1. And uh, we've also got the Norwich Burnley game that's been played on a Sunday. I'll play that through and let you know the score of that one. Uh, and Monday, we've got Brentford against West Ham, Leicester against Crystal Palace. Again, I'll bring you the scores in this save so we can uh, look at those against what may happen in real life. As I said, we are sitting in mid table in our save, 36 points from 31 games. Uh, Watford just above, seven points above the relegation zone. Uh, Watford have won four of their last five home games so they're pretty formidable at home and uh, our away form's not been so good so let's see how we get on then this is today's team so we made three changes to this uh, side to go out and face Watford we brought in Calvin Phillips in the defensive midfield role unlucky uh, Robin Cock missing out he's been playing quite well but uh, we've got to bring Calvin in he's been suspended for the last two games in our save uh, we've got Somerville playing on the right wing. Uh, been playing Rafinha quite a lot and uh, he's been uh, advised to be brought off as out of uh, out of fitness, out of uh, steam as such uh, before half-time sometimes. So we're going to rest uh, him. We're going to have him on the bench to come on later on probably. And Somerville gets his chance uh, to start on the right-hand side. And we've also got... Uh, Harrison coming in on the left. Uh, Dan James has picked up an injury. Uh, it's quite a bad one. He's going to be out for three to five weeks. It's uh, damaged knee ligaments. So uh, Harrison uh, coming in. Uh, still our top scorer is uh, Dan James. I think he's got 11 goals. So that gives uh, the others that are lining up behind him, namely uh, Bamford and Rodrigo, the chance to get level with him and get the top scorer award. So the team then, Melly in goal. Right back, Aileen, left back, Dallas. In the middle, centre backs, Cooper and Llorente. Phillips in front of them as a defensive midfield. Click as a ball winning midfielder. Uh, the three behind, Patrick Bamford up front. As, as I said, making uh, start today, Cristancio Somerville. Uh, done really well in real life. Uh, scored a hat trick in the under 23s the other night. And he's getting a chance on here. I really like uh, Somerville. Uh, Rodrigo in the number 10 role. And Harrison, as I said, replacing the injured James on the left. Uh, we're going in to start with balance. But uh, we're going to change that to positive after we've seen off the first 15, 20 minutes. And uh, the substitutes then. Andrew Fisher, subkeeper. Shackleton, Firpo, Strauch, Forshaw, Robin Cock. Rather unlucky to be uh, on the bench. Tyler Roberts, Rafinha, rested as uh, not uh, fully fit, and Gelhart are the substitutes. Let's uh, get into the game then and see if we can uh, make sure of safety. Right, it's Watford that get uh, us underway and kick off uh, in front of a capacity crowd, 22,200 at Vicarage Road. Uh, Watford changing from their usual 4-4-2 to a 4-4-1-1 for this game so uh, a little bit more solid uh, obviously oh keeper Backman he's got uh, an injury that's nice uh, let's hope it uh, affects him he's not very uh, mobile it's Phillips with an early free kick then let's test the keeper oh, and that one's over the bar so no test there for Backman so this game being played at quarter to eight on a Saturday night uh, not something I would uh, be wanting to see and uh, yellow card there, eighth minute. The 
referee Michael Oliver today. He was our referee in the real life game against Southampton last week. Of course, we picked up a, another useful point there. Uh, in our save, we actually lost 2 0 to Southampton. So, uh, doing better in real life than uh, we're showing in our save. So, Brentford of uh, Brentford uh, yeah, against Brentford, uh, the uh, won the last game did Watford one nil last home game, but they've made seven changes since then. So uh, a bit of tinkering by the Watford manager. So uh, early corner then to Leeds early, early it's twenty one minutes gone and uh, Bamford getting beat by King there, but uh, Urent is going to pick this one up as you see in uh, Football Manager the centre backs are. Uh, Patrolling outside the box at corners. Uh, I don't know where they get that from. Uh, Centre-back should be in the thick of it there looking to head in. It's mainly us to start with and uh, it's looking promising. We need to get a goal to capitalise on this. Here's Phillips back in the team today. Click. And it's uh, a slow, patient build-up. Here's Bamford. Knocks it on. Somerville. J Rodrigo has been playing well recently, both in real life and in our save. And uh, it's comfortable safe for Batman there. So uh, let's uh, move up to positive then. Uh, we've seen off the early start, uh, but it's been mainly us. We haven't seen much from Watford, but we're going to move to positive and see if we can uh, get a goal here in the first half. Here's Harrison. Inside to Rodrigo. Rodrigo's in the thick of it, uh, getting much more involved. Uh, and uh, we've seen that in real life since Jesse Marsh has come along. And uh, he seems to be uh, the... Spanish international that uh, we signed rather than uh, oh he's put Thumberville through straight at Backman a missed chance there but it was offside anyway so it wouldn't have counted so maybe he knew that when he shot 0.53 xg against 0.006 that's just gone up to so we're not seeing much from Watford and we've had most of the possession at 58% uh, Dallas here with a throw in in our own quarter to Phillips uh, easily gets past his marker there and we seem to be dominating the possession. Here's Rodrigo through to Bamford. Dallas. We just don't seem to be uh, putting that final ball through Bamford. Uh, but he's headed it to, to Watford and Ngakia. However you might say his name. Don't know whether that is. And Llorente wins the ball. And it's Rodrigo again. Somerville. He's getting plenty of ball is Somerville. And uh, not looking too bad. What's his score? 6.8 on the uh, form. 6.9 just gone up. So he's having a, a good debut here. And uh, that's the first half then. Lots of play from Leeds. 0.6 XG. And uh, two shots on target each team. So let's get into the dressing room. And uh, tell the boys to keep this up. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get a goal. It's Bamford who gets the second half underway. He passes a long way back to Urente. Uh, just a two, uh, one or two other players who uh, aren't playing so well. That's Click, Harrison, Bamford and Dallas all on 6.5 to try and up the game a little bit. Uh, just tell him they're better than they're showing at the moment. Not much response. Uh, in, and that's Ms. Sissoko with the yellow card. Seems a, a key point that, uh, in that he might get another one. So uh, we didn't see much from that free kick, but that was another one. Uh, got a quite deep back line, uh, Watford, but here's Healing. He's got in the back, and it's a tap-in for Harrison. Fourth goal of the season for Harrison. So recalled to the team, and they put Sleeds in front, 48 minutes. Good ball in from Aileen. Let's see that again. Bamford knocks it back to Rodrigo. It's Rodrigo. What a ball that was to, to Aileen. Aileen gets to the byline. Pulls it across, unmarked, Harrison at the back post and slots it in. We go in front and we're still positive. Let's uh, see if we can get more. XG of 1, just 0 0.2 from uh, Watford. So Watford not causing us any problems at the moment. Watch, uh, don't be listening to me there and uh, change that uh, <laughs> football manager. Here's Cooper outside the box, tries a shot. Oh, Backman uh, parries it. Rodrigo's there and he follows up and it's 2 0. Rodrigo with his eighth of the season. Was that the keeper hampered there? Just a bad mistake. A shot from Cooper and uh, parries it. Rodrigo picks up and puts it in from uh, almost impossible angle. Let's have a look at this again. Phillips, Cooper lurking outside the box. Left footed shot, more or less straight at him. He parries it, doesn't get to it. And Rodrigo, 2 0. And it's a really good performance. This is against Watford, who had uh, quite a good home record before this. And uh, maybe it's all those changes they made. They made seven changes, and there's three subs as well uh, to, to add to the problem. 
they're certainly not uh, playing well, Watford, although uh, we've got to beat them. Uh, here's Dallas and Backman. I wonder what the injury is to Backman. Uh, he doesn't seem to be. It just seems to be a, a normal error. Rodrigo looks like he's given everything. Uh, really? Yes, he looks quite low. I'm going to keep him on. I've had that before. It, it doesn't really uh, affect the players too much. It doesn't seem to anyway when unless they're actually out on their feet, you can usually continue to play them. We're in 71 minutes. I might make some changes anyway. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, Bamford's not doing so well. Click hasn't uh, improved. So uh, those two. Oh, Bamford's just gone to 6.7. Let's make some subs then. Oh, let's just see this highlight first. Uh, Dennis Sissoko and it's still telling me about Rodrigo. Let's just ignore that for a minute. Here's Cooper to Dallas. Dallas getting forward. And he's cutting inside Somerville and shoots, but that's uh, well over the bar. So uh, let's have some subs on then. 81st, eight, going into the 82nd minute. We're leading 2-0. Uh, as I say, Bamford, a lot of the players are showing signs of tiredness. A lot of uh, empty hearts there. So 6.5 click isn't doing so well. Let's give Shackleton a game in midfield. So Shackleton for click. Shackleton's always played well on Football Manager for me when I've uh, put him in. Uh, he is quite high on the star rating. Don't know whether we can see two and a half with a three and a half uh, potential ability. So certainly up to the task. He's 22 years old now, so uh, no longer considered that young. He's had quite a lot of experience. So we're bringing uh, Shackleton in for click. Uh, Somerville's doing okay, 6.9. Uh, Bamford, as I said, uh, let's get. Gelhart on for Bamford and um, we seem to be managing without Rafinha so uh, we could uh, could actually uh, keep him on the bench as uh, as I say I was going to bring him on for Somerville if he wasn't up for it but Somerville's uh, been getting into some good positions so we'll just make those two subs at the moment and uh, continue with the last nine minutes plus added time so there we go Shackleton and Gelhart two younger players coming on for Click and Bamford and uh, everything's going well. We haven't, uh, as I said, seen much from Watford at all. Melier's uh, been looking on in, in goal. Cooper to Phillips. Rodrigo passes by the referee, Gelhart. And it's that right inside again. Somerville's through. Can he, can he make a difference this time? Somerville, oh, he's hit the keeper again. He's had plenty of chances to score his debut goal. And it, his performance has been good. The, the finishing... Could have been better, probably. Here's Harrison with a corner. And it's uh, knocked out by uh, Watford, but it's Cooper. Usual place, edge of the box. That right-hand side uh, for us has been a rail opener, but Harrison's offside there. So, uh, Ken Sam had much too spaces for his crosses. I haven't seen it, so uh, forget that one. It's it's all leads. The highlights are all leads. Let's hope in real life uh, we can get a similar sort of game this uh, Saturday. Is Rodrigo. It breaks... And uh, pass back to Rodrigo. Uh, his shot's wayward and uh, wide. Uh, Watford now appear to be playing a 4-4-2. They've gone back to the normal system. So they're trying to get a goal back. But three minutes into Addy time. It doesn't look like it's still us again. Ailing on the right. This right-hand side has been a real uh, area for us to get through. Here's Somerville. He's played really well as Somerville. Uh, what's he rating at? 6.9. Uh, but it's Rodrigo, the star of the show again with eight. He's our star man. And that's it. A 2-0 win. And uh, we're definitely safe in our save. And uh, I think we will be if we get that score in real life. So uh, lots of green and high marks there for everybody. Uh, Shackleton not playing long enough to, to get a mark. Uh, that's strange because he came on at the same time as Gelhart. Gelhart gets seven, but Shackleton doesn't get a, an average rating. So uh, just the two subs made and uh, let's see where we are in the table and see the rest of the scores then uh, from this weekend. So after that fantastic win against Watford, uh, we are now up to 11th place, 39 points from 32 games. Uh, we're not mathematically safe yet as Brentford won their game. So we're 12 points away from Brentford and they have five games to play. So 15 points possible. Uh, let's have a look at the other scores then that came up this weekend. Norwich uh, beat Burnley 1-0. That's uh, a score that we would be looking for in real life. Uh, Burnley 
obviously uh, beat Everton the other night and uh, made their position better, should we say, with that uh, win against Everton. But going down 1-0 against Norwich. And the other games, Brentford, as I said, won their game 3-0, surprisingly, against West Ham. West Ham in ninth position in the table. And Brentford trying to get out of it. So they're two points behind Norwich now. Uh, both those teams winning at the weekend, putting pressure on Watford. Uh, with 31 points and Brighton with 31 points so uh, a lot more teams involved in it in our save uh, in the relegation battle uh, it's looking drastic for Burnley and uh, Crystal Palace so it's uh, one from Brentford, Norwich, Watford, Brighton and possibly Southampton I would say anybody above that is uh, probably safe although not mathematically and the other score was Leicester nil, a Palace nil. Uh, Watford manager I uh, found out is still a Ranieri in this save, so that uh, explains why there were seven changes and then three subs coming on. Uh, the man known as the Tinker Man was, was added again, much to our uh, satisfaction. So 2-0 win against Watford. Uh, let's hope we can uh, have the same score or same result in real life. Uh, last uh, episode I gave... I, well, I was wanting to give away a Leeds shirt. Uh, they're on offer at the moment, £20 uh, the lead shot for a home shirt, £25 for the blue away shirt. The offer is still available. Uh, transfers to this video now. All you've got to do is run through the video, add up all the numbers that I uh, mention. So all the numbers, not if I say second or third, that is not counted, just the actual numbers. So if I say, for instance, uh, let's not count this. So if I say, for instance, seven points behind, that would be seven counted in. So add those all up. You have to go through the video, write them down, add them up. First person in the comments to give me the total from the whole video uh, will win a Leeds United shirt. So one's on offer at the moment. Obviously, if you don't get any time and, and you're watching this video sometime later, the offer doesn't stand. Uh, it's only whilst the shirts are on offer. Uh, I'm willing to pay £25 for a shirt, your preference if you want a home shirt or the blue away shirt, but get in there, look at the video, listen to the video all the way through, write down the numbers that I mentioned, <laughs> write down your answer in the comments, and also subscribe to the channel. So you must be a subscriber, you must write the correct answer down, and you will win a Leeds United shirt whilst they're still on offer, so get in soon as you can. Uh, that's all for this week then. We're doing quite well. We're more or less safe, all it being all but mathematically, 11th position. Let's hope we get the same score, a nice win at Watford, and we will be the same in real life. That's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. This is Dave Dog. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, please watch out for my new series where we're going to promote the under-23s to the first team and see how we get on in the Premier League next season. <laughs>